Hello my dear student, in this video we will discuss with civics portion lesson 2 directive principles of state policy. In the introduction part we can see that what are the main problems we faced at the time of independence. India suffered many problems on those days which are the poverty, illiteracy, social and economic inequalities. These were the main problem we suffered or we faced at the time of independence. Same as many social and economic evils also prevailed on those days. What, of, what was that? Child labor, child marriage, caste discrimination, ill treatment of a woman, dowry system and exploited or exploitation of the poor and weaker section by the rich and powerful. And the Indian leaders who strove to tackle this problem and they kept them in mind while defining the goals of the new Indian state. Many problems we faced at the time of independence but at the time of making the constitution, the framers of Indian leaders or the framers of Indian constitution, they kept them in their mind and what was the aim of them a welfare state what is a welfare state the framers of the indian constitution they decided to establish a welfare state in india the framers of the indian constitution they decided to establish a welfare state in india a welfare state is based on a democratic system in which the democracy the government is responsible for the social and economic well-being of all citizens. In a welfare state, it is based on a democratic system of government. I hope that all of you know what is a democratic system. We are selecting our representative and they will uh, form a ministry and they will uh, rule us, isn't it? We can choose our representative or we can choose our ministers. A welfare state, it is based on a democratic system of government and it is responsible for the welfare or social and economic well-being of the citizen. A welfare state ensures every citizen irrespective of their class, caste or wealth is provided with equal opportunity to grow and develop his or her potential without any hindrance. There is no difference upper caste, lower class, isn't it? There is no difference. Every citizen they will get equal opportunity to grow. All the people they will get equal chance or equal opportunity to grow. And the weaker and more vulnerable sections are protected against any form of social and economic exploitation. The weaker section they are protected against any kind of exploitation. And the gap between the privileged and the unprivileged, between the rich and the poor, and between the upper and the lower caste is progressed, progressively uh, reduced. The gap between the privileged and unprivileged, between the rich and the poor and between the upper and the lower caste. We can uh, reduce the gap. And the state works for the growth and development of the entire society. The state, it works for what? For the growth and development of the entire society. To realize this goal or for reach this goal, the framers of the constitution, they incorporated the fundamental rights and directive principles of state policy for reaching or for realizing these goals. The framers of the constitution 
they engrove they add the fundamental rights and the directive principles of state policy with our constitution okay i hope that all of you understood up to here what is the welfare state and what were the problem we faced at the time of independence and what are the uh, goals of a welfare state we learnt four goals isn't it so all of you please read up to here and if you have any doubt about any point you can ask through the comments